Here's how to make a custom resource pack in Minecraft Java. This is version 1.21, and we'll be doing a custom texture pack, putting on all those squares you see right down there. And I changed a whole bunch of these blocks in here, all these different squares in there. Honey blocks with the squares changed. Here's some glass with the squares changed. Over here, there's obsidian, and I even changed the tree trunk right here, the tree bark. So let's switch over to the desktop and see how this whole thing is done. Okay, here we are on my desktop, and the first thing you need is a place to build your pack in. I just went onto my C drive, and I made a new folder, and I named it pack. That's where we're at right now. Inside here, to start off with, you need to have some folders over here. I'll show you what those folders should be in just a bit. And you may or may not want to have your own pack PNG file. This is just the image file that shows in the game when you're selecting your resource pack. It doesn't show any place else. But if you want to make your own, it's real simple. Let me show you this real fast. I'll be doing this in a program called paint.net. It's a free download, so it's free to use. Let me bring that up. And here we go. We're inside of paint.net. You can use any image editor that you want, but it should be able to handle transparency. So Windows Paint will not work. That doesn't do transparency, but pretty much anything else will do the job. We need to make this into a square file first. I'll go up here to image, come down to canvas size, take my larger size, which is 640, and just match the smaller size to that. So both are now 640. Choose OK. There we go. That has these bars on the sides. I want to get rid of those. I'll grab the magic wand tool. Let's just select that and delete and select and delete. Okay, it's now a square image. Let's now bring it down to the right size for Minecraft. Image, resize. And here you have two good choices. One is 128 by 128. That's the standard size. If you want more detail, you can just double that. 256 by 256. So they're the same dimensions, so it's square. I like using nearest neighbor or keep hard edges, whatever it is like that. Choose OK. And there we go. All we need to do now is just to save this out as a pack.png. Go up to File, come down to Save As. Save it into your location. Make sure it's a PNG file. Make sure you save it as pack.png. I'll be using this one so I won't finish this process, but that's all there is to it. And you can then use any image you want as your pack.png. OK, let's go back to our working folder. The next thing we need to do is to get the files you want to change and also set up all of our folders, which are over here. And for that, we need the vanilla resource pack. And the easy way to get to that is to go to the Minecraft launcher. Let's get there first that way. And then I'll show you how to get to the same location if you're using a different launcher. It's real easy. So here's the Minecraft launcher. Go up to installations and then latest release and click on that folder icon right there. And that takes you into the Minecraft folder. There it is. Okay, another way to go to this, let me bring up another drive window. Doesn't matter what the window is, just a regular drive window. If you don't want to go through the launcher, you can go up here to the address bar and just type in percent app data percent. Hit the enter key, go into the Minecraft folder, same place. For me, the easiest way is just to use the launcher like we did right here. Okay, in here, scroll down and come down to where it says versions, go into versions, and you want to find your version in here. I'm currently in 121.1, which is right here. Go inside of that. And you should see two files in here. Let me just make these images bigger. So two files, one's a jar file, one's a JSON file. If you're not seeing the .json or the .jar, go up to view, come down here where it says show, and then put a check next to file name extensions, and you'll then see that. You want that .jar file. And we're gonna be dragging this over into our working folder. So I'll bring that back up again. There it is, I'll just put that right here. And I'll take the .jar file and right drag it over here and copy. It just copies it over here. Okay, let's get this out of the way. We now need to open this up. And to do that, we need to convert this over to a zip file. Easy to do. You just need to rename this. Click it once, click a second time into the name. And you can then backspace over the jar and make it say zip and choose yes. In this case, this always was a zip file. It was just named jar. Now, the easy way here is to right click on this and open in a new window. We can now just drag and drop from this window. I know a lot of tutorials on YouTube tell you to copy the whole thing out, extract everything, and then delete everything. That just seems like a lot of wasted work to me. So we're just going to do some drag and drop stuff. So here's our assets folder. Go into assets, into Minecraft. Come down here. We want the textures down here. So go into textures, go into block. And here's where all of your blocks are. And these are real small images. I'll change the view here to the list view so it's real easy to see everything in here. And what you need to do is you need to copy out the files that you want to work on. Leave everything else alone. Just copy the ones that you want to work. We'll first do the stone in here. So I'll just find stone. And it's right here. I'll just 
right drag it over here and copy. Again, real small images. We'll do that one. Let's also change the grass because there's a special thing about how the grass works. I want to show you that. It's a multi-part image. In this right here, we have grass block top and grass block side. So two images. You just drag it over here and copy. That's the side. And here's the top. Right drag it over here and copy. Again, special case on that one. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's also do the glass block. This one has transparency on it. Right drag it over here and copy. There it is. Everything else will work basically the same way as these files. Okay, let's just close that down. Now what I did, let's go in here to the assets. I'll go all the way in. I did all of these files in here for the demo for the beginning. We'll just be doing just three of those. And I'll delete that, the delete key, and get rid of that. Now we need to know where these go. So bring them back up that folder, assets, Minecraft, textures, and blocks. Let's go ahead, we'll make those over here. New folder, first one is assets. Inside of this, new folder, this one's Minecraft. Inside of this one, new folder, this one is texture with an S. Inside of that, new folder, and this one is block. Be very careful that these are spelled correctly. Notice that that's assets, that's plural. Minecraft is not. Textures is plural. Block is not. So be very careful to look for those S's or not S's. Also notice that these are all lowercase. There's no uppercase anywhere in here. No uppercase in any of these names. Everything is lowercase. And you should be seeing the .png because we already set up that to show find them extensions. Okay, we have our blocks out of here. Let's now take our images. I'm just going to select all of those. Right click and copy. Let's go inside of our folder structure here. Right click and paste. There they are all inside. Okay, we now can go over and edit these. I'll be doing these again in paint.net. We've already seen that. Let's bring that up. Okay, we're back inside of paint.net. And here are the files. I did one more file I forgot to grab. That was the grass block side overlay. So here's our files. I'm just going to drag and drop these into paint.net and open those up. There we go. Easy to do that. Let's just take one of our standard ones here. That's the regular grass side block. And I'll zoom in on that in real small files. And here we go. And there's a special thing about grass. This top section up here, this is not going to be the green you're going to be seeing in the game. You can't change that part of this to any color that you want. The color on grass is controlled by a different file called the color map. And it changes the color based upon the altitude you're at and the dryness that you're at and the temperature that it's at. And it's kind of automatically created as you move around inside the different biomes. Now it's possible to work with that color map, but it's real difficult. There are better ways of changing the grass color using Optifine. But for now, we'll just leave this as is but we'll still start off with this one. And I'll be doing the same thing on each of these blocks, exact same technique. And they'll give us those light squares that we saw. So first thing you need to do here is to make a new layer. And then I'll grab the rectangular marquee tool here. And I'll just grab nine pixels up there. And set our foreground color to white. Grab the paint bucket. And I'll just put some white inside of there. I'll do this on all four corners like that. Get the bottom corner over here and paint bucket. There we go. And bottom corner again and fill it in. There it is. I'll now double click on the layer over here and set the opacity to 150. Let's put this right there a bit easier to see. And here's our basic side block for the dirt. Let's do a save. Going into the same location. Make sure you save it as a PNG file. Leave the name alone. Choose save and replace the one that was there. Choose OK and flatten. That's now done. So that's our first new block. I'll do the exact same thing for the rest of these blocks in here. Let's finish off with the grass blocks. Here's our second one. And again, let's just zoom in on this one. Now this is the grass side overlay. And it's just this gray tone color in here. And that's what gets changed out with the different colors based upon the color map and based upon where you're at inside the game. We'll do the same thing here. We only need to do the top part of this. Let's just make a new layer. Grab those nine squares and hit that paint bucket. And then the right side and paint bucket. Double click on the layer, set this to 150, and OK. There it is. As long as you stay in the grayscale, you're OK. So you can change the shape of this if you want to. You just can't change the color. And we'll save that one out. And again, PNG, choose Save, and yes, OK, and flatten. That one's done. We can close that down. We can close that one down. Then we have the grass top, which I think is this one here. And we also have this stone. Now, that looks like stone. I think this one's the grass top. That is, that's the grass top. 
Same thing, you can't change the color of the grass top, but you can change the look of it if you stay within the black, white, and gray scales. Same thing, new layer, and let's fill those with white. Double click, let's change this to 150, and okay. That one's done, let's save that. Change that to PNG, choose save, choose yes, okay, and flatten. That one's now done, we can get rid of that. And we have the stone block, and we also have the glass block over here. Let's do our stone next. Same exact trick, just sticking in the corner here, make a new layer, and fill with white. You see I'm doing the exact same thing each time. That gives me that real consistent look, no matter where you're looking in the game. And it's a good idea if you are changing the textures inside of the game to something else, that you pick some kind of a theme or a pattern that you can repeat, and then just do that for everything. Doesn't need to be like this. Doesn't need to be a straight repeating pattern, but some kind of a theme so that everything works well together. Okay, that one's done. Let's save that. Again, PNG file and save. Yes. Okay, flatten. That one's done. And the last thing we have up here is the glass block. Let's just bring this up. This one's mostly transparent, all out in here. And it has these light blue areas around the outside and these little two kind of highlight things in here. And we'll do the exact same thing. It works on glass as well. New layer two, grab the upper left-hand corner and fill that like that. Set the opacity to 150, get some see-through effect going on there, and then save that out. There's our save button. Change to PNG, choose save, yes, okay, flatten, and that's now done, and all the images are done. If you want to do more textures, it's the exact same thing, just working with more of your textures. And this covers almost all the textures that you find inside of the blocks folder. There are some specific cases, and I'll be doing other videos on those, like the animated stuff. I'll do other videos for that stuff. But this covers all of your basic blocks. And there we go, the blocks are all now done. Let's now back up to the pack folder. We need one more thing in here. It's a pack.mc meta file. And this used to be included in the jar file. It no longer is. They stopped doing that back in 1.18. And when that happened, I began putting these things up on my website to make it easy for you. So we can just download it from there. Let me bring that website up. And it's right here, HTG George, just like my YouTube channel. And you want the Minecraft pack.mc meta right here. Now the actual code is right there. I'll always have this at the current code. And what really matters here is the pack format number. Right now it's at 34. And that's for Minecraft 1.21 and also 1.21.1, which just came out. Now the pack number changes whenever major things change inside the game. Whenever the programming changes, Minecraft decides when to change that. You can see here that 1.20 had four different format numbers. So make sure you know which version you're playing. And I have these clear back to version 1.6.1. So you can go all the way back to then. That's the first one that the pack.mc meta file existed and just download the one that you need. Now to download this, just click on the file. This will bring up a download window. There it is. Save it back into your same location, to your working folder. Choose save. There you go, that's done. Let's go back to our folders. There it is. Right click on this and open in new window. Here's a pack.mc meta, just drag it over here and you can then close this down. Now I like opening these things up in Notepad++. It's another free download and it's a great program for editing these kind of files. Now, when you first install that, it's not gonna know what an MC meta file is. So you have your file here, right click on that and open with, you probably won't see it up here, choose another app and then just search for that on your computer and then choose that to open always and then you're all set for that. So mine's already going, so double click on this, opens up the MC meta file. And there's only two things to worry about in here. That's the pack format and the custom pack. Now you may see more stuff in more advanced packs. I could put more things in here that do more stuff. I would do that if I'm making a mod. But right now we're not, we're just doing a texture pack. This is all that we need. And I'll just change the name up here. Just make it say custom blocks. And I'll put in 1.21 just to keep things clear and save that and that's okay. And now we can go ahead and put this into the game. Now there are two ways to do this. If you're done with your pack, you can zip this up. Let me show you that first. Just choose your folder here, your assets folder, the pack MC meta and your pack PNG. Right click and compress to zip file. I'm in Windows 11 right now. And then give that a name down here. I'll just call it blocks pack. And I can then put that into the game. Now, if you're still working on the pack, and that's what I'm doing here. I'll be putting more stuff into this pack in future videos. This would be kind of like a major pack we'll be building over several videos. If that's the case, what you want to do is make a new folder in here. So a new folder, I'm gonna call this one 1.21, I'll just call it custom pack. Because later on, I'll be putting in some programming in here as well and turn this into an actual mod. So that's my custom pack right here. 
and then just take those same things, your assets folder, your PackMC meta, and the PackPNG, and put those into that folder, which is right here. So I can now put either this into the game, the one that's zipped up, or I can put the custom pack into the game, and they both have the same thing inside. If I open this thing up, there's our three files. If I open this up, there's the same three files. We'll be using our custom pack here so that I can change that in later videos. Let's now bring up the Minecraft launcher. There we are. Go to where it says installations. The latest release go over here. Click on that folder icon again. This time it's come down here to resource packs. Open this up and here's my packs. There's a the pack that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Let's now put our new pack in here. Again, I'm using this one over here that's not zipped and that's fine. I'm just going to right drag it over here and copy. There we go. I'm now done with this. I can close this down, get that out of the way. We now need to activate the pack and make sure it works. So go over here, click on the play button and we'll load Minecraft. There we are. This is my custom title screen. If you want to find out about how I did all of this stuff in here, I have videos for that and there are links for that in the description. But for now, let's go down here to options, go to resource packs, and we should see our new pack here, left hand side. There it is 1.21 custom pack. Here's what I had at the beginning. Let me just get that one out of the way. Let's bring over our new pack right here. There we go, it's at the top, that's good. Click on done. Wait for that to reload. Click done again. Single player. Now I'm going to my main world. And there we go, and there's the stone block that we did. We also did the dirt blocks and those are over there. Let's just go over where we can see those a bit better. There it is. You can see now it's same pattern on the top. That looks good. And we also did the glass that's over here. You can see that in my little automated chicken farm right here. And there's the glass block. So that worked out perfectly. And it's that easy to make your own custom texture pack. And we can change anything we want visually inside of the whole game here. And I'll be doing a lot more with this resource pack. We'll be adding in more stuff. I'll be changing the trees back there and how to change other items and also how to change textures on mobs, things like that. So we'll be doing a lot of stuff with this resource pack. This is just the beginning. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of that stuff coming up. Hit that like button, of course, and I'll see you next time.